Hello everyone, so this morning I'm in the Blue Mountains and we're going to be hiking to Victoria Falls. It's meant to be two and a half hours return or something like that. It won't take me that long but that's what it reckons. It's a perfect morning out. Um, it's not a massive waterfall I don't think but it's sizable enough to be worth the bother. We'll be hitting a lookout fairly soon and then it's a long way down I'm pretty sure. Well, I'm at a pretty amazing lookout over the valley. Sort of in shadow a bit. It's probably better, better in the afternoon, to be honest, but it's still really amazing. The falls are down there, I think, where you can kind of see that hole, a little shadow. Um, and there's a sign here pointing to the waterfall, so that's where I'm going to go. One thing that's really been apparent is just how dry it is here compared with like other parts of the Blue Man we've been. Like Katoomba and all that kind of area yesterday, that was rainforest and a lot of it. And this is almost kind of deserty kind of terrain. Really sandy ground and rocky. It might get a little wetter as you go further down though, into the valley. Where the creek is. Heading into the valley deeper, the views are really nice up to the mountains. It's a pretty cool formations there. Almost a little bit Grand Canyon-ish. Obviously not nearly as, you know, grand as that, but that really kind of orange rock. I'm starting to hear the creek down below, so I don't think I'm too far off the falls now. I'm at a junction now. Right fork will head us some cascades. I might do that on the way back, but for now, I'll head left to Baba Korean Flat or whatever it is, which is the route to the top of the falls. The track's a little more overgrown here. Well, this is a pretty cool spot. I'm right on top of Victoria Falls. There's the first drop, and the main drop just down there. Stream flow definitely looks quite low, but it's certainly enough water to make it a pretty impressive sight. I just passed another junction and put into Bubba Korean Flat again and this was the route to the top of the falls but I'm going to go back there and back onto the Bubba Korean Flat or whatever it was route. Really nice spot just to chill out up there especially with the light as it is. Amazing view over the mountains. Reached a spot just a little further on overlooking the falls. A pretty decent drop. I can't really tell that well from here, but the bottom one looks maybe 20 meters, and this one's maybe 10. Let's look at the light on the mountain out there. Well, I'm at the base of Victoria Falls, and it's a really amazing spot. The water flow is kind of low, so it could be more impressive, but it's still flowing well enough. Just look at this amphitheatre around here, it's just incredible. Extraordinary rock overhangs. Well I've taken that cascade track now and I've come out the very pretty Victoria Falls Cascade. It's only about a minute off its main trail, so it's certainly worth the effort. Little dribbling side falls. Coming to the end of the walk now, just passing the lookout again. Pretty amazing waterfall, or pretty good waterfall, especially if it had more water. Hard hike, especially on a hot day like today. Lots and lots of stairs, lots of climbing back up. Um, but I'd still, I reckon it's definitely worth it. If I had my time again, I might have had a swim in that pool down the bottom of the waterfall. But oh well. Plenty more to do today, so I'll see you at the next spot, I guess.